Gorno State Capital was agog with personalities from far and near. As president and founder of Al Ansar Foundation, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa arrived Meiduguna to commission as well as launch some monumental projects that will have a lasting impact on the historical landscape of Borno. The mission is clear, that is, to provide service to humanity through all legitimate avenues and resources in addressing challenges facing respective communities in Borno and nation at large. Al Ansar Foundation, the brainchild of Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, was established 20 years ago for the betterment of humanity. Like other organizations, the foundation has equally been contributing its quota towards addressing the need of affected persons in Borno, especially in view of the devastation caused by the decade-long conflict that has engulfed the region. The overall objective of the foundation is to bring peace and harmony to Borno and Nigeria at large through the promotion of activities capable of promoting the social well-being of the citizenry. In a matter of years, Al Ansar has laid a solid foundation in policy and infrastructure to enable it provide mass education to Nigerians, cater for the needs of vulnerable citizens, provide healthcare services to women and children, teaching youth on the path of righteousness through impacting good religious and moral values, as well as engaging in activities that tends to bridge the gap in terms of unhindered access to crucial and reliable life-saving information, especially among people in the northeast of Nigeria. Al Ansar Foundation no doubt has become a household name, especially in view of the series of human capital development projects unveiled during the visit of its president to the state. A glimpse into the personality behind this revolutionary change sweeping Borno reveals a modest, hard-working and humane individual. From a humble beginning, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa rose through the ranks to the peak of his career, exhibiting sterling leadership qualities through his ability to think and act strategically in difficult situations that require improvisation and swift response in problem solving. Born on the 3rd of January in Dikwa town of Borno State, Dr. Dikwa had his primary education at Dikwa Central Primary School from 1970 to 1977. He attended Science Secondary School Gashua and Ramat Polytechnic Meiduguri, where he obtained WAEK and Diploma in Accounting in 1982 and 1985, respectively. He obtained a BSc in Accountancy and Master's Degree in Finance and has a Doctorate Degree in Accounting and Finance. He has attended the Senior Executive Course 34 at the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPS, Kuru, among several other courses within and outside Nigeria. Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa's working career started with the Borno State Civil Service in 1985 and served in different ministries before being appointed as the State's Accountant General in 1999. In 2004, he joined the Federal Civil Service as a director under the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation. He serves on the boards of many federal government agencies before being elevated to the position of Permanent Secretary. Dr. Dikwa acted as Accountant General of the Federation on several occasions. He was Pioneer Secretary, Presidential Initiative on Continuous Accounting, PICA, and was equally part of a number of federal government programs such as the Integrated Personnel Payroll System, IPPIS, and the Treasury Single Account, TSA. After his retirement on the 3rd of January 2019, after a meritorious career, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, now a philanthropist, thrives to work for the betterment of his community and country. On this occasion, his arrival to Medugri was out of the ordinary as monumental projects were commissioned, marking a new chapter in Kanum Borno's thousand-year history. Perhaps this could best be described as the most impactful project to be embarked upon by Al Ansar Foundation. For the first time in history of Kanum Borno, construction of a private university is underway to provide education to not only the people of Borno, 
but surrounding states and neighboring countries as well. This is no doubt a milestone in the history of Borno. The vision envisaged for the proposed Al Ansar University Neduguri is to be a world class academic institution where faith, innovation, and service are nurtured for the advancement of human development. While the mission is to be a beacon of knowledge and transformative learning, seeking to advance professionalism, build a diverse and socially inclusive society, and be a powerhouse for human capital development. After conceiving the idea to establish Al Ansar University in Meiduguri, Dr. Dikwa, together with members of the Planning and Implementation Committee, paid a visit to Nile University. The university ranks amongst the best, which was what necessitated the visit to wrap minds and see how it could be emulated in establishing Al Ansar University in Meiduguri. The historic groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of Al Ansar University was attended by dozens. In his remarks before the ceremony, President of Al Ansar Foundation, Dr. Mohammed Kari Dikwa, expressed appreciation for the turnout, stressing that the proposed universities shall serve as means of innovation, Islamic development, national integration, and peaceful coexistence where the required skilled manpower will be produced. It is with greatest happiness and humility that I stand before you this morning to witness the groundbreaking ceremony of our proposed noble institution of learning the Al Ansar University. We can continue to thank the Almighty Allah for this unique opportunity in one's life. Distinguished personages, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by expressing our sincere appreciation to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Marazulu Emene, for his show of love and commitment to the Al Ansar Foundation since its inception. The Foundation is happy and proud to identify with this kind hearted man, selfless leader, a man of peace and compassion, a man that the history has already been. Charismatic politician, academician, and a great leader whose action has already impaired the youth, women, vulnerable, and infected positively to the lives of people of Borno State and beyond. Your Excellency, sir, pondering on their deeds and actions towards the proposed university in particular and the Al-Ansar Foundation in general Umar. leaves us with yeah. a feeling that indeed you are an unprecedented governor of our time in history. About a year ago, when I approached His Excellency with the idea of establishing a private university in Borno State, he gave me total assurance of supporting me to realize my long outstanding dream. He instantly asked me to choose a location anywhere in Borno State. Subsequently, the choice of this location and the prompt allocation of 100 hectares of this land for the purpose of meeting with one of the requirements of the National University Commission for licensing a new university. The Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Umara Zulum, described the project as impressive and one that will contribute in no small measure to the fortunes of education in the state. He equally emphasized that the government will support the university in any way possible to actualize its objectives. This ambitious project was single-handedly initiated by one of our illustrious sons, Dr. Mokar who indeed is a man of broad understanding and amiable disposition the systematic and sensitive insight into the problems of the state. By initiating this gigantic project, Dr. Kerry Dupont set the wheel in motion in a profound and stimulate, stimulating way towards addressing one of the most fundamental challenges facing us today as a state. 
which has the deteriorated state of education, particularly in the wake of Boko Haram insurgency. So we may recall the level of destruction of educational institutions in the state by the insurgents is almost absolute and pervasive. Dr. Kerry Dukwa's initiative is therefore a veritable source of encouragement and guidance for our team and students in their relentless quest for a better future for themselves and the society at large. Dr. Mohamed Kerry Dukwa is not just an illustrious son of Borno State, but a highly celebrated final national figure, which happens to be one of the 16 recipients of the prestigious award of excellence by the Ariwa Journalist Award. For being the initiator of the presidential initiative of continuous audit figure, which aims to block wastages and leakages in government expenditures in the administration of President Buhari. At this juncture, I wish to direct the Honorable Commissioner, Minister, Minister of Science, Higher Education, Science and Technology, to last with the founder of this great institution to see how the government of Borussia will support this nominee. Others at the ceremony equally applauded the initiative by Dr. Dikwa and the immense value it will add to human capital development in the state. First of all, I will seize this opportunity to thank the Almighty Allah, the nourisher, cherisher, sustainer, protector, provider of one and all, for bringing us here to witness this giant project, Abby, initiated by the committed, dedicated, a son of soil, who all were here because of our common heritage to witness this giant investment for the development of mankind here in the Einstein city of Karim in the northern eastern Nigeria. The proposed university, virtually one of its kind in the entire West Africa, looking at the plan, the proposals, and work so far on ground on behalf of the investors, contractors, and development partners of this great project that invited all the southern sandwiches of Borno to come and participate. We are here representing our company, whom I was once a chairman, and today, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm speaking on behalf of all the development partners and contractors here. The Faculty of Science, Faculty of Arts, the Senate Building, the Road Network, the College of uh, Management and Art, and other structures, above all, the mocks, are all so far the substructure is seventy percent completed. It's highly commendable and deserves appreciation by all well wishers within the Northeast sub region and beyond. It is our hope, it is the hope of the North East Development Commission that such initiatives in the education sector and other people-oriented programs will continue to be replicated by our well-to-do individuals for the benefit of our less endowed citizens. With his mother land, and we pray Almighty Allah to continue to increase him in strength, wisdom, and protect for more service to the humanity. To everybody here present, we say thanks to you all and journey mercy back to your respective destination. The Borno State Governor then formally launched the groundbreaking ceremony of the monumental project. <laughs> Thank you.
With construction of the permanent site of Alansar University well underway, there was a visit by officials of the National Universities Commission to Borno State as part of the licensing process. The visit was to inspect and approve the new university's temporary site, graciously allocated by the Borno State government from one of its several mega schools to fast track commencement of academic activities before completion of construction work at the permanent site. NUC officials, upon inspection, disclosed that the temporary site met the necessary criteria and approved for launch by September 2021. To strengthen the support and collaboration with the foundation, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa and the NUC officials paid a courtesy visit to the Deputy Governor of Borno State, Umar Usman Kadafur, where important issues on the commencement of academic activities by the new Alansar University was discussed. Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, as part of efforts, led a team of academics to Crescent University in Abeokuta, which prides itself as a citadel of academic and moral excellence on the recommendation of the National Universities Commission for mentoring on the proposed Alansar University. The two-day visit provided an avenue for collaboration and exchange of ideas on how to establish a well-rooted and all-embracing academic institution. To solicit further support for the proposed Alansar University Meiduguri, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa was at the Northeast Governors Forum meeting comprising states such as Taraba, Bochi, Gombe, Adama, Yobe and Borno. It was an opportunity for the president of Alansar Foundation to promote the proposed university as a comprehensive presentation was made detailing all the different structures as well as academic objective to serve not only the Northeast but other states and neighboring countries as well. The meeting resulted in overwhelming support and commitment by the state governors to see to the realization and success of the proposed Alansar University currently under construction in Meiduguri, Borno State. Describing the laudable initiative as one that would benefit humanity and bring about positive development in the region. A major pillar of Alansar Foundation is education, which is why as one of its major projects, Alansar Academy Medugri was established. It is a specialized school comprising of kindergarten, primary and secondary levels, providing both Islamic and Western education in a conducive learning environment with all the requisite facilities and instructional materials. The main priority is to ensure that children acquire quality education at the basic level under a safe and conducive environment for learning. To this effect, the school sought out well-trained and experienced teachers, in addition to developing a world-class curriculum in line with national and local standards. A day before commissioning of the academy, the president and founder of Alansar Foundation, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, inaugurated the governing board of the academy with Al Haji Mustafa Gwani as chairman, alongside other credible individuals as members. May I also use this opportunity to remind us of our vision of establishing this academy, which I think will serve as a guide and shiny weapon in the discharge of our mandates and responsibilities. Our vision is clear and is centrally focusing to ensure that pupils and students, regardless of their background, have access to quality and right kind of education at the very school level. The Chairman Governing Board of Alansar Academy, during his acceptance speech on behalf of the board, applauded Dr. Dikwa's contribution towards providing access to quality education to the people. A feather has again been added to me. I don't know why this feather is going to take me. 
I not, don't know how to say thank you to our brother, Dr. Mahmoud Kerry. And I don't know how he decided again. That's why I've been a member of the Board of Trustees of the Great Adancer Foundation. And yet today he said, I should also lead the team that will look after the Adancer Hundreds turned out to be part of the commissioning of Alansar Academy Meduguri, including the Borno State Governor, His Excellency Professor Babagana Umar Zulum. In his opening remarks, founder Alansar Foundation, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, disclosed that the idea to establish the academy was partly due to the impact of the conflict in the region, which deprived many of Borno's sons and daughters from accessing quality education for many years. First and foremost, I would like to start by expressing our sincere and warmest appreciation to His Excellency the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Umar Azulim Emena, for performing the groundbreaking ceremony of the first private university in Borno State earlier this morning. The need to fill the educational gap in our region goes to the heart of Al Ansar Foundation mandates and vision, commissioning ceremony of this project, the Al-Sal Academy, Medugui. I would also like to thank our royal fathers, religious leaders, parents, teachers, students, and indeed all those that have honored our invitation here today. For me, there is always something thrilling about being part of a progressive educational system. And this event is historic, truly. I have no doubt, as we witness the official commissioning ceremony of this education, for the education of our children, in many years to come, posterity shall be kind to us for initiating this laudable project, inshallah. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Umar Zulum, described the initiative by Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa as impressive and in line with the government's drive to uplift the standard of education in the state. Let me also listen, let me also address some of the requirements met by the guest speaker of this very important occasion at the moment. We are listening to our address King. And therefore, I am directing, I hereby directed the Secretary to the State Government to notify the verification committee of the primary school verification committee headed by Dr. Kulima to examine the capacity of the private schools in Borno State. This committee has to go through all the records has to go through all the physical infrastructures of all private schools in Borno State within six months. And all this recommendation to the government of Borno State. And inshallah, all those park schools shall be closed. Once again, we are so much happy, so much grateful to the founder of this great institution. Government at the basic level as well as the first basic level will be directed to last with this very important institution to see how we can collaborate with the beauty of our team. Thank you very much. Other well meaning individuals equally shared their view on the laudable initiative at bringing quality education to the doorsteps of people in Borno. 
despite the insurgency, despite all our troubles, Bordeaux is making progress taking in all fields of endeavor. And this shows that there is a great leader on ground. And this leader is supported by people like Dr. Mohamed Jerry Dupa, who for the last 25 years have been dedicating all his resources to the cause of Islam. I live in this area, and for the last 18, 19 years, our children have been receiving free Islamic running education. Some of our children memorized the whole Holy Quran, and some of them have memorized lots of Hadiths, all free of charge. In this area, all we needed to do was to just get uniform for our children. And then the rest taken care of by Dr. Mohamed Jalil Dubabe, God bless you, God bless you. It was then time to commission the project, which was carried out by the Borno State Governor, Professor Babagana Umara Zulu. It is my singular and Ansar Academy to the benefit of humanity and to the glory of God. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The final monumental project to be commissioned was the Al Ansar Radio and Television. During the commissioning, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa disclosed that establishment of the Al Ansar Radio and Television was necessitated to not only help towards developmental efforts of government, but to as well bridge the gap in terms of dissemination of crucial information for both moral and religious guidance. The reason why I decided to invest more in education and the media. Media, uh, virtually there are three things why we should establish media. One, to educate. Secondly, to inform and then enlighten the public of, you know, their moral rights, our, you know, divide guidance, so that at the end of the day people will behave well and uh, do the right thing. If nobody, if there is not, there is no media or channel through which the government or an individual to communicate to them. Were, uh, people may think that what they are doing is the right thing, well, what, what they are actually doing is wrong. So it is important for us to, you know, uh, in, uh, to supplement the government effort in the North Shore. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Umar Zulum, in his remarks, commended the founder of Al Ansar Foundation for establishing the media outfit, saying, it will benefit communities across the state through the services it renders. And I also learned that we are heading to commission the Alansar Radio and Television this morning. These three, three projects are very dear to the government and people of the state. Education is very key. And therefore, I'm calling upon all the well-meaning people of our state to emulate a large number of American people with a view to providing such critical infrastructure that will add value to the living standard of our dear children in our state. As usual, Cross-section of those who attended the commissioning expressed optimism of the positive impact the station would bring and as well calling on others to emulate his deep desire to serve humanity. And we really appreciate and we encourage him to see to this development of these two institutions. It's really a challenge to to the privileged ones among us in the northeast sub region. We are appealing to them that they should come and see and emulate this uh, Dr. Mohamed Kari. Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, Tada Bornoe, Kusaima, Bornoa Amnongul and Tulomao, Zungunza, Gumizungula, Leman Mazi. It's a na alan, Montiada, Carono, Anangado, Armanangaro, Awada, Nikke Barra Dip Kikaya, 
namin banke chinge kari ko so ala ala marada ala baraz ala sha baraz awodo no jungundlan to nala this is bernoro montada garo no ana ngado a shey bawo a kare kije sha ko zina bawo alansar radio and television is owned and operated by alansar foundation established in 2020 with a vision of setting up a leading diversified broadcast media to esteemed audience and advertisers. The vision of establishing Alansar Radio and Television is to support government's efforts towards bringing lasting peace, tranquility and development to Borno State and Nigeria at large, to build peace and harmony among the societies in our dear state and the region in general by airing deliberate programs that support peace building to bring to the fore government's developmental efforts in the state, to educate the populace on the principles of decency and divine guidance, to promote programs that would economically empower the vulnerable and less privileged in our society, to propagate programs that would promote diversification of the nation's economy, such as agriculture, solid minerals, tourism, hospitality, among others, and as well as to operate strictly within the confines of the National Broadcasting Act. The giant strides exemplified by Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa has been applauded by many as one of a kind, especially coming from a person from the area. Family, friends and well-wishers expressed their thoughts over the recent developments and their views on Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa. The projects commissioned in Medjugri are not the last but part of a series of projects lined up by Alansar Foundation towards the upliftment of humanity, with its president and founder providing purposeful leadership. Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa, in a brief interview at the end of the historic occasion, was full of gratitude to Almighty Allah and to the tremendous outpouring of support and encouragement received from the government and people of Borno and beyond, stressing that the foundation will continue to touch the lives of people through such developmental projects.